Good afternoon. My name is Jean Kim, and I'm a surgeon scientist at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. We have written this review to evaluate the therapeutic potential of the first-in-kind biologic dupilumab in the treatment of chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyposis. In this review, we present the prevalence and pathophysiology of nasal polyposis, dupilumab's mechanism of action, the initial proof of concept study showing the efficacy of dupilumab in the treatment of nasal polyposis, and the seminal phase three clinical trials of dupilumab, leading to the first biologic to obtain FDA approval for this disease. We also review the adverse effects, safety, and dosing of dupilumab, and summarize the current state-of-the-art medical and surgical treatment options available today. This review is meant not only to summarize this information, but also to pose some new and important questions for the reader, such as, what is the role of dupilumab in current clinical practice for the treatment of chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyposis? What are the cost considerations of these established and new treatment options of dupilumab, the total cost of medical and surgical treatment, including inpatient and outpatient costs? How do we identify which patients will most appropriately respond in this heterogeneous group of patients? And how do we choose the best treatment option for each patient? We hope that this review will provoke our readers to think about these challenges we face as we try to provide the most efficacious, efficient, and timely care in order to best serve our patients and the public.